This is a really interesting sculpture, and it's by the American Joe Davidson, and it's of the really great, world-famous author, Gertrude Stein. She was famous in the 1920s and 30s. She's been somewhat eclipsed by time because she's, she's a very difficult author. She's very hard to read. She's part of the group of novelists like James or, or Virginia Woolf who, who are, are looking into the elements of style and breaking those down. The thing to remember about Richard Stein, in addition to her literary career, is that she was an incredibly formidable person. She was, to be coy about it, a large woman. She tended to wear caftans and other loose, flowing gowns, which made her even larger. Joe Davidson does an interesting thing here because he seats her, and that turns her into a more sculptural form. And I'll dare say it also flattered her vanity because it makes her look a little like a female Buddha. It makes her look majestic, which flatters Stein's vanity because she very much saw herself as the instructress of a rising generation, that she was a tastemaker, that she would lay down the law, and that she would create, in a sense, a kind of modern religion at this shrine at her apartment in Paris. So on the one hand, it's an absolutely great likeness if you look at the face of Stein and her hair up in a bun. But the sculpture really works because it both establishes Stein's presence and the, and the impact that she made on people. And it's a really great artistic solution to the problem of how do you depict somebody in whole and in part.